Hi gang, John again from Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today, once again, I thought we're going to do a walk around video of another machine from my collection. This one is especially dear uh, to me personally. Um, over the years, I've become good friends with Chris the Flying Fish Fischetti. Some of you old school guys will remember the fish. He was pretty crazy and a lot of fun. What we have is the fish's uh, 2002 Polaris Octane. This is a full on mod boat. It was his surf race boat and is untouched as I got it from Chris. I've owned it now for a little more than 10 years and I thought maybe you guys would like to see it. Let's check out Chris the Flying Fish Polaris Octane. So what we have here is a 2002 Polaris Octane that I purchased directly from Chris the Flying Fish Fischetti. This was his Pro Mod race boat. Uh, he used it primarily for surf racing in the ocean um, and it, it worked really well. It's got a bunch of really goofy things on it and I think you guys will kind of get a kick out of this particular machine. Back in 2010, I took over Watercraft Connection, Watcon.com, from my bud good buddy Randy. Uh, Watcon was well known in the Polaris circles, uh, and Randy was, he's very much considered the father of the Octane. It was him and Whamilton that come up with the Octane for Polaris. So I figured having Watcon in the house here now, I should probably have a Polaris Octane. And what better Octane to have than the fishes? So first off, if you look at the hood here, Chris, um, these are known for the hoods coming off, and especially in surf conditions. So Pops, being the innovator that he is, uh, they added straps that come down to hooks here to help keep the hood on. And then they made pins. This is difficult to get off as we don't have a pole support. They've got pins under the hood here that lock in to holes in the hull. Again, to help hold the hood on in heavy, heavy surf conditions. This is the Polaris 777-800cc engine. Uh, <laughs> the Fischetti's had actually put, this has got a snowmobile head on it that's been cut off it's a triple head. They changed it to an R&D dry pipe. It has water injection, MSD total loss, and 48 millimeter dual Novi's with V-Force reeds. It's got a little water in the hull. I did take it down to the river yesterday and I ran it on the trailer. It's been in storage for more than 10 years and I have not run it. Uh, again, I got it out of storage, put some fresh 110 race gas in it, it started right up. This is what I just love. The ingenuity here, Pops comes up with. The ride plate is all cut up and modified, heavily modified, to allow the back end of the ski to sink in. And then they come up with these turning flaps that turn off of the steering nozzle to help, as, as you know, the octanes don't handle or turn. And they were trying to make this boat work. There's a bunch of other things that they've done to it that I'm not gonna disclose. We got some modified Beach House Sponsons on it. Here you can see where it was a triple head that they cut off the very frontmost cylinder of the head. It's still got all the markings on it from passing tech last time at the races.
We have had this ski in the water, but it's been at least 10 years. I think we should probably take it to the water and get some numbers and bring you guys along. We'll ride the fishes, Polaris Octane. Mission off. That doesn't mean the crank didn't hit the yeah. bottom of the engine. Put oh. your head down on the yeah. handlebar. Yeah, that's a super rare ski you can't find parts for. Cylinder. Cylinder's cylinder. popped off. Oh, look, look at the back cylinder. Yeah. You broke, you can see the crack. Holy sh. Oh, I ain't never seen that in the oh, ocean. Wow. Oh my god. That's a little EME there. Holy Yeah, that broke cow. the whole cylinder off. Wow. So, we went to do our GPS run on the fish ski, and we didn't get to finish it. We ended up wrecking the engine. Um, we broke the cylinders off the cases. We're guessing it goes 58, but now we have no idea. Bring her on in here, Chris, and you can see. We cracked the cylinder front and back. So that's that. That ends our ride on the fish ski. 
Please like, tag, share, and follow. Hit the subscribe button, and next time we'll see you out on the water.